Oh my God, I have forgotten how to do this. Hi, there's a pretty high chance if you're seeing this video that you don't recognize me or don't even remember subscribing to this channel. That's because it's been almost three years since my last upload, I'm pretty sure. I think it was August, 2018. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is PJ, I'm a photographer from Melbourne. I used to be very much involved in the music, photography community, in the local band scene, all that stuff. I used to absolutely love it. Band promos were my favorite thing. I used to shoot some live shows too. A little bit of video here and there. And I used to upload to this channel three videos a week. That was before adult life. Looking back, I really regret neglecting the channel. There's a lot of excuses I could give, but the truth is above all else, I sort of fell out of love with photography a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I have been shooting almost every day. If I'm not shooting, I'm assisting or editing. Um, I'm very lucky to have a job, a Monday to Friday, full-time job working for someone else doing photography. It's my dream job in, in many regards and, I, and I'm very proud of that fact. I'm very proud that I've been able to do that and make my living taking pictures and, and making videos and stuff. I think it's really cool. But over the course of doing that and doing it every day and working for someone else, I just have very much fallen out of love with photography in the last couple of years. It's only the last couple of weeks really that I've sort of been motivated to take pictures in my spare time, to photograph friends or take my camera with me somewhere or just generally excited to make pictures again. I've really missed that feeling. There's nearly 20,000 of you subscribed so hopefully there's some of my, um, my old subscribers are watching. I'm looking at you, uh, Rui. Mikey, Elaine, um, Florian. Oh my God, there's so many. They're all coming back to me now. Hope some of you guys are watching this. A lot has happened in those three years. Firstly, I bought a house in May 2019 with my beautiful partner, Gemma. We finally achieved one of our long-term goals of buying a place together. Something that I'm immensely proud of. I love spending time here. Over the last couple of years, we've been slowly turning it into our dream home. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing it in future videos. Next up is this uh, global situation that we all find ourselves in. Don't get me wrong, we're pretty lucky here in Melbourne. Uh, in Australia in general. In fact, in Victoria where I live, we've had some of the strictest lockdown rules in the world. Um, it was super effective and for a while we sort of got back to some semblance of normalcy. Having said that though, we are now in our fifth lockdown as of this weekend. Um, cases are spiking in Sydney and times are pretty uncertain again. I'm so grateful and so appreciative to have been able to work throughout, to still have an income to be able to shoot and edit and, and do a lot of the things as normal when pretty much all of my friends in the photography, videography, music, or just creative industries in general have been without work. In fact, some of their careers have been completely destroyed. During the lockdowns, I also got engaged last year. It was on my birthday actually. We were sitting down having a nice family lunch over Zoom because this is what our lives have come to. And uh, yeah. I propose to Jen. I'll roll the clip for you now. Just wanted to know what you're doing for the rest of your life and would you like to spend it with me? Of course I would. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, BJ. <laughs> Because this video has taken such a long time to get out, you know, that was almost a year ago. I've actually sat down twice already and recorded this and not been happy and scrapped it. I also got married. I might be biased, but I think it was the best wedding that, it was the best wedding I've ever been to. Obviously it was my wedding, but I think for a lot of other people, well, I would hope that a lot of people would say that as well. There was just so much love in the room. We were so lucky to get it in between lockdowns. We didn't have restrictions. We could dance and sing and laugh and eat. And just to be together with all of my favorite people in the world is so special. It's something that I just don't take for granted anymore. I'll roll that clip now too.
I can't feel it too I'll take your worst and the best I'll be there for you Like you're there for me Cause you are all I need Here we are now in July of 2021. The point of this video is to say that here I am, I'm still alive, I'm still kicking and the channel is not dead. The content might not be exactly the same as it was before and I can't really commit to an upload schedule right now, but I'm gonna try and upload one video a week. The point of these videos going forward is about my journey to fall back in love with photography. It used to be all I think about. I used to wake up in the morning and think about photography and my YouTube channel and how I could grow it and how I could get better and the next piece of gear. And over the last couple of years, that has just all disappeared. And I just, I just realized how healthy and important that was to have that passion for what I do. What I really want from this is to fall back in love with photography. And I wanna share that with you. My skills have changed and grown so much. I have shot so many different things over the last couple of years. It's really been like, like an apprenticeship, to be honest. I really wanna share that with you. I wanna fall back in love with photography. And most of all, I wanna get that silver play button, baby. If you watch this video all the way to the very end and you remember who I am, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Assume you're already subscribed though. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Pew. Oh, that was so cringe. I'm not gonna do that anymore.